is the moment, tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Um, I was going to be doing just one episode and then the Blood Moon. But on our travels, because we've gone quite very, very far, Mr. Bingo had Josh here wearing his Hi. dapper duct tape. I don't know what that is you're wearing. I really don't. <laughs> don't wear it again. It scares me. Um, I look like a mug here. Yeah. He, he found something else another building that he said might interest me. Now, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, I don't think I've ever been to something like this before. So, nope. over to you, Mr. Bingo Head Josh. Uh, could you please explain where we're going? Uh, well, let's see, we're going far. Uh, you know that uh, car place you took me to? Oh, the scrapyard, yeah. Yeah. Now, that there was actually a shelter, like a, uh, no, what's it called? I forgot the word already. Bunker base. That was a bunker base, was it? I just yeah, thought it was a scrapyard. Yeah. So yeah, that was a bunker base, and I've also found a another one that was like down a road from it and across a bridge. Oh right, and okay. It's, like it's got like a weird back part that goes underground. So I'm gonna take it as probably another bunker. So we're gonna go and explore that. I've not been in there. I just went up to it, and then I was like, pretty sure this is what I think it is. Okay. It is. Well, I'll bunker. jump on the. Uh... I'm a Hell's Angels bike, and uh, let's go. Days and Sweeps. So, hotel, motel. Uh, the hotel thing, yeah. Across the bridge to our right is this thing. Josh, have you seen that up there? Why is... Why is there <laughs> just a big bridge just sitting there? Oh, I'm being attacked by a bird, hang on. Our biggest question, why is this here? Like, what would that even lead to? Like, you've got a hotel right there, so it can't go down to the hotel. Oh, it could come from here, though. Ah, uh, still weird. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna really completely ignore that. You know what weird. I do, don't you? Yeah. What? I take these pillars out underneath them and run like hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing will block. Yeah. Right, welcome back everyone. This is where uh, Josh was bringing me. Um, I think he's mm -hmm. being sorted. He's brought me to a... It looks like a shack. And what, what's like with shack. what's with the park bridge here? Did, did, did they lose the whole lot? Because Was there a fly over here at one stage? I don't know, I just sneezed. Oh, bird. Got it. You know what? You should just be a farmer. War, war. Right then, so how do we get into this place then? Uh, well, this building here, this wood one, yep. I don't know how the hell you, I don't even know how you get in there. I think you just break in, but whatever. But there is this thing here, the well. Oh. Uh, we can, if it is locked, we can break in. When you look down there, there's like spikes down there, and there's a ladder, so. Come right. on, just looking at that, that, that does not tell you. It's going to be something like this. Ladies first. Thanks. <laughs> oh look, it's broken. The uh, ladder is. There's a lot of spikes down there actually. Uh. Right, and come down and save me. Uh, it is locked. That's really weird. Hang on. Let me get the old match from there. That was easy. <laughs> Wow, there's lots of I bookshelves mean, here. Thank God we made that. Let's get oh. in here with the fun. Contact grenade schematic and four oh, times oh, scope oh, schematic. I want, that. I want that grenade schematic. Oh, here. I'll drop it on the floor here for you. There you go. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And you are welcome. Uh, some right, pipe. I've got a bunch of things for you to learn, Zona. So that thing, that thing, and that thing. Let's have a look now. We've got. Beautiful. Every door is open. Thanks for the glue. Right, well, this door sure. this door runs to another door, which must be the other room, but you've got this one here. Do you want me to take this one out and see what's behind it? Well, no, we'll leave it now. We'll come back to what things are locked. We'll go through what we can go through, and then we'll unveil what's behind doors. If come back to me. Just in case, you know, just in case there's like a way into it, and we we'll just sort of take the hardest route. Do you want to test that impact driver thing I gave you? See how it works. Hold it in your hand and use it on this. Did you use your stamina? Yeah, it uses a bit of it. I guess it's just better, in a way. What's for dinner? It's not here yet. It's not here yet. Your mum's been asleep all this time. We just went up at 20 past 15 minutes ago and said, order a Domino's, please. <coughs> so there won't be massive amounts of it. <coughs> what are you doing? Standing, going out, what? But then you haven't given him a treat. <laughs> you do. That's why. That's why he does it all the time now. Well, that gave me a load of um, got six electrical parts out of that. So that weren't too bad. Nice. Let's get me a wrench. I give that a go as well because we. Uh, That only gives me seven. I'm going to use this. Gives me four. Right, we finished taking this apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think carry that. Stop. Stop. Calm down, you're destroying everything. Hello. Got the Nice wash machine. Uh, nice clothes locker, I guess. Uh, I'll go do that today. Oh, we could just walk in there. It's just a couch. Why is there just a couch in a box in a corner? Well, we, we can break through this door here. Uh, and then we can go into the uh, 3D door. 
Well, you know what's interesting about this one? Oh my god. I just realised. What? I'm recording another conversation with Sam. Yeah, did not realise that. Well, let's hopefully we get some peace when we go into the final loop room, huh? Hey, look at the final room. The vault door. This has to hold everything. Yep, that is definitely a loot room. Oh, this is a loot room, all right, boy. Nice, you know, filled with a sword of it again. The goodies. Oh my, I've got uh, a lot of pistol bullets out of that bar. I'm gonna unlock the gun safe then. As these boxes don't have like things in the front like other boxes do. Do they? These boxes don't have those like. Was like shotgun or whatever the companies are that ship things out to things. Yeah, I'm just um, a bit concerned. I can hear loads and loads of zombies, but I can't see where they are. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm just wondering if they're going to come through that up there. Nah, they can't get through. We're underground anyway. Anyway, they can. Why is there a couch in there? What? What is in these boxes? Nothing. Oh, well this one here is alright. Oh! Machete schematic. You can, you can make the machete, can't you? Yeah, you might have used that. Oh. This has a toilet hidden in. <laughs> okay, this is the weirdest loot room I've ever been in. Okay, now look at that box. Look what it was in that one. That oh, was with an iron. <laughs> that was, that was alright. This is the weirdest loot room I've ever been into, to have a toilet and a couch in a loot room. Your prized possession is a corner couch. <laughs> oh, well, let's just see what it is. Well, what is it? Right there? Another couch. We could have just broke straight for that glass into it. Right, what does that look like to you on top? Right. I thought that was hay. It does seem very similar, doesn't it? But it's not, it's a cupboard. <laughs> there's, there's some very questionable things happening in this place, I'll tell you that. Hey, this is certainly the weirdest one I've been in. Uh, 100%. Well, I guess that no, is really it. For oh. the cool little bunker I found, it was yeah. That's very uh, what's the let's, one? let's get up here and find all the zombies are waiting for us. Yeah, the one billion. Oh, there's one. No one's waking up from there. So one thing we haven't checked is this actual log tavern. Ooh, what if you get wood from this? Oh wait, this, the log cabins are not. The cabin don't really have anything in it. That is a that is a nice loot room, but what a weird setup. Break open yeah. a standard box, and I've got a toilet sitting inside it that's plumbed in. Well, that was weird. Have a in there. The devs have a really warped sense of humour. I like toilets and loot Now, as we've um, come over here and it's only been uh, a few minutes into here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pillars out and watch that drop. Hopefully it won't kill me. How are we going for you? Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, oh my god. the car blew up. What a mess. Worst thing that I the thing that I found very interesting in the whole situation is the fact that when the body fell, the body just fell sitting. <laughs> very, very good. There we go, now it looks better. Oh no, hang on. <laughs> it could probably break underneath it and it would be easier. Maybe, unless it goes through. Timber. <laughs> Now that looks better. a little bit better. I'm Almost sorry, the, the kid inside me just needed to get out. It was screaming to come out and play. Right, well. Fun the log cabin wasn't... Uh, wasn't quite what we expected. Um, but the underside was oh, not too bad. Uh, yeah, that was basically it, everyone. Yeah, uh, A bit of a short me. one, but... There we go. Sometimes it's best to have the short ones and long ones, but there, there is nice buildings over there as well, so maybe we'll come back one day and uh, see if any of those are worth uh, recording. Oh, but, yeah. But for now, this is me and Bingo Head Josh signing off from another episode of this wonderful game that we're, we're loving, we're enjoying, really, really enjoying, of Seven Days to Die. So, on that note, I'm your unlucky few. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. We like it all. Thank you and goodbye. In a bit. In a bit indeed. Yeah!